guys, it's Lisa. I'm here for In Your Pocket Tuesday. Here's the inspiration piece. I took many things from this one, the colors, the red, the leaves, um, two of the textures. Look at those browns, the tweeds, um, the different burlap, wicker, whatever you want to call it, rattan, and then also the um, rhinestones and also the wood. So here I have all my pictures, which I typically do over on my channel for Project Life. I go ahead and I get all my pictures ready and all the cards ready and sometimes I even get the embellishments that I've chosen ready just to keep things organized and kind of get the pro keep the process smooth so this little uh, card here my friend Kelly sent me in a care package which was really sweet and I couldn't wait to use it for one of my layouts with Polly in it and this is Polly's layout uh, of her seventh birthday so she is obviously the star of the show in this layout but starting off here is our new set of dishes which goes perfectly with this week's inspiration piece because of the colors it has the leaves and I am in love with these dishes they're so artistic and creative and it's funny because all the all the dishes are different so the houses are different sizes the leaves are different the colors are pretty much the same, but they may even have a little different hue to them. These are the leaves that I preserved this past fall, which I didn't end up using on this layout. So here I'm just kind of backing this with this card from my Scraptastic kit for January. And I just liked the way that it peeked out around the edges, and I liked that a little bit of a tan color. So I went ahead and, and edited that photo and put a frame around it in PicMonkey, which I used often, quite often. And then here I did my journaling on some photo paper also in PicMonkey. And it's for, this week is January 11th through January 17th. And then I wanted to have just a little bit of that those colors on the left-hand side just to kind of frame around my journaling, just to add a little, a little bit of color to it. And then, um, let's see, the next one, I think I'm going to be working on the card. Oh, there's Polly's birthday bone, um, which was baked in a bakery. We have this really cool um, doggy bakery, and it was like, I forget what it was called, but it was quite a nice birthday bone. <laughs> she was spoiled for her seventh birthday. So that was her staring at me, and I had the bone in my hand, and look at her face. Oh my gosh, too cute. So here, this was just a, a frozen frog that I thought was a riot that I saw either on, I don't know, it was on Facebook maybe, and it has been so cold here. Some of the mornings are in the minus digits, so I thought it was appropriate for this week's spread, and I thought it was funny as heck. So I decided to use it, and then I had a card in last, it might have been even in, I don't know, I think it might have been December, or maybe it was January, but it said burr on it. I had a little picture of penguin, which I covered up, um, but I thought it was cute. And then the little wood veneer over it that had a little arrow pointing to the frog's face, and he had a frozen mustache. And then this card obviously says date night, and there's a picture of my food. And you know what's funny? Have you ever gone to take... A picture for Instagram or something and then you realize you've eaten half your food so it's not the prettiest picture of my dinner but the salmon was only maybe a third eaten and but it's still a memory and then um, trying to get the birthday um, stamp out and I've never used it so it was it was um, really sticky and then I had to kind of uh, try it out on paper so it took me a little while but I think I cut that out for your sake and anyways, there's a photo of Polly sleeping by the snowy tree, uh, which I thought was very peaceful looking. Um, yeah, we've been getting, finally we got some snow, so we do have snow. It looks like it should have, like, back at Christmas now. And we have probably, we just got, like, another four or five inches, so I don't know. We maybe have six inches on the ground, so it looks like it, um, it is winter now. So here is that saying, and it says, dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole. And I thought that was so nice. And this was a care package I got from my friend Kelly, who is one of my scrapbooking friends. And it was so sweet, and what a nice surprise. And I have been struggling, and, you know, I won't get into it. But anyways, it was really so nice. And this little one of the was this was one of the little cards she sent me too. She sent me a whole bunch of stuff. And thanks again, Kelly, for watching this. Um, 
and I fussy cut that little clock out because I was just thinking the other day how fast our dogs lives go I mean obviously their lives are well not to be sad and depressing but they go so fast in Polly 7 and I can't believe it it seems like just yesterday at Easter time we were bringing her home and um, introducing her to our other Pomeranian who passed away a few three years ago but anyway so I thought that was appropriate there was a little clock because it was her seventh birthday and so then I ended up um, popping that up on some foam tape just to give it a little bit more dimension and I'm just putting a little bit of um, I'm just distressing it with some black on the edges just to make it stand out a little bit more on that photo because the the colors around it were a little bit light and I apologize you know I just got my new phone and it's the sick Samsung Galaxy it's its tongue twister 6 s edge plus and it's amazing it takes amazing photos and it's amazing videos and everything but the only thing is is when you're doing a video where it has the edges you can't really see where your edges are because it's rounded so um, a couple spots on here I'm kind of not off of the you know I'm not doing things off of the whole video but it's kind of cutting it close so I'm gonna have to pay attention to that so um, yeah, it's just, um, I don't know if you guys have that phone, if you have any tips or anything, but yeah, it's kind of different for me, but it's, it's amazing. It takes amazing photos and it's just an amazing camera and phone. I love it. So yeah, I'm just working on this card here and I wanted to incorporate some of the gray too, because that card that says true stories, I wanted to use and the edge that I put on that card there says life is meant to be remembered and I just thought that was really nice because you know it's life goes by so fast and it's another year and you know it's either like another birthday for me or my husband or my dog <laughs> so um, I got this just recently I got this um, ribbon it's by uh, Recollections and it's beautiful it's like tweed um, or like I don't know what you would call it it's burlap and it has like gold down the middle it's absolutely I die for it I love the texture I love the fact that it has gold and burlap all all intermixed in the same ribbon and so I decided to incorporate it and it was perfect for this inspirational piece and so I decided to put it on there and then also I was going to cut out some circles that had some of the colors and it went with the plate and these uh, buttons were also in my stash and I thought one of the buttons looked perfect with one of those little, uh, I don't know if those are, they look, at first I thought those were acorns but they're not, they're like wicker or rattan baskets or something but I decided to put that down there and it had the little brown dots and then I ended up uh, buying these they are also by recollections there are some rhinestones oh that was the little card that my friend Kelly sent me which I wanted to show you guys real quick but that was really sweet and so yep so I'm putting down that little um, circle and then I'm gonna glue down the little button which I love using buttons because I think they add a lot of dimension and especially if they have some color to them you can get some extra color and then um, yeah I don't know I just I just like the looks of them and I just love I love buttons when I was little we used to have a button box when we went to my great-grandmother's and we used to play in it for hours it's amazing how you know when we were little we played with things like that and now it's just like so much technology so there's the little rhinestone that I was talking about which really reminded me of part of the inspiration piece because it had these rhinestones on it maybe not the same color but the same type of it was the same um, thickness and the same shape okay so here I had to go to the neurologist um, and then he wanted me to go see um, an ophthalmologist to check my I have some intracranial pressure so anyways to make a long story short I've never had my eyes dilated and many of you know that you go and you have your eyes dilated and they put the drops in your eyes well I just never did so I had it done it was no big deal pretty painless and then my husband was like oh my gosh you've got to see your pupils I have to take a picture so he got a picture of my uh, pupils and then <laughs> I had to use it because I was like holy crap I can't believe how big my pupils were and then in my um, my kit for 
uh, Scraptastic, they had these uh, veneer, wood veneer circles. And I decided that, yeah, that was perfect because my pupils were the size of those circles. <laughs> they were humongous. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I didn't believe him until I saw the, the photo. And I was like, holy mackerel, they were ginormous. <laughs> um, so here I am. I'm adding some of that gray because I just, I loved that. I loved that card. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to that that gold card that says, so this happened. And and then on the bottom, um, this is where I, it cuts off a little bit of what I'm doing. And I'll just have to remember when I'm doing my project life layouts, I'll just have to try to remember that my camera, when I turn it on video, it automatically zooms in. I'm sure I can go to settings, um, but it automatically zooms into my layout, which is actually kind of cool because it's very clear. But I'll just have to stay in around to the right of my, you know, where I lay out my cards, stay to the right of it instead of underneath it. Because my other phone, my S5, I could actually, you know, go beneath it or below it a little bit. So here I am. I was going to add some of those um, those little cardboard things that I get in my, the cutouts that I get in my kit, but I decided it was just getting too busy. So here I'm going to adhere that down, and then I like the little design underneath my photo there, so I left a little bit of that showing. And, and it kind of points down, it's, you know, it's not they're not really arrows or anything, but two true stories. And then I decided to cut a couple more of those circles out with those little um, leaf different colors, which I really liked the colors of those, and I thought they blended nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue down those wood veneer circles. Um, but also, oh, I saved my, I met that ophthalmologist for the first time, and she was so super nice. And I went ahead and took some of my old scissors that I had that, you know, those little scissors that cut like different designs, and I used those to cut out her name. And she's a fairly new doctor. She's very young and really sweet. Gosh, I mean, I don't know. I work with a lot of surgeons and, and a lot of doctors, and I don't think any of them ever, ever, ever come out into the waiting room and get their own patients, and she did, and I was really impressed, and she had such a great bedside manner, and I mean, that really, to me, makes, this, that just makes a big difference in a doctor, so I really like her a lot. So anyways, I put her name on there just for a little, like, I don't know, ephemera. I just wanted to save her the brochure for that. And then I decided to put the little circle, the little collar inside the wood veneer. Sometimes I love wood veneer. I, I tend to dress it up a little bit, whether it's with um, Winka Stella or I, I don't know, I put color on it. I very rarely leave it just blank, like the other arrow with the frog I just left blank and I don't know, I just, I like to do something to it, so um, there's, I cut that one off, and then I think I end up putting that other circle in the middle of that other one there, but I'm determined to do something with the top of that card, it was just, I don't know, it was calling out to me, it was like, do something with me, do something with me, so I decided to go ahead and add some of that burlap ribbon with the gold center, which, oh my gosh, burlap and gold, I just fell in love with it. It's so pretty. Um, and then I think I go back there and decide to, yeah, there. I wanted to add a little bit more, bring that color down to the lower right because the upper left was just so bright and colorful that I decided I wanted to go ahead and add a little bit more color to the lower right hand corner. So I did that. And yeah, it was just, I mean, I like that yellow color that butterscotch color down there and then I just added a little rhinestone down there um yeah so this week oh um my husband the picture of him on the lower left hand side there uh this was the week that we got our new phone so he got the new iPhone 6 he didn't get the plus because he figured it wasn't going to fit in his pocket so he decided to get the iPhone 6 and whichever was the newest one, I forget, but they were having a special family thing at U.S. Cellular, and um, we share the data, which works out really good, and then I got, like I said, the 6 Edge Plus, which I ha keep mine in my purse, so it was, I liked it bigger, I liked the bigger screen, and it works really cool. So I got a picture of him 
we had gone out to eat and I just snapped a picture of him checking on his new phone. And then, oh, the vet, our vet always sends us these cute little um, email like e-cards and they're animated and everything. They're really cute. They send them, they send them to us for Polly's birthday and it's funny because sometimes I don't always remember it's coming up so it's always a nice remem reminder. And then here I'm just making a little banner out of that. I just took a screenshot of it. And then I thought that blue would look really nice underneath the picture of Polly standing on the porch in the snow and added that down there just because I had that light blue on his shirt. And then um, me standing in the kitchen in those pajamas, I was using my um, my new um, selfie stick and um, my sister had sent me those pajamas so I was sending her a picture of it and those, I love those pajamas. Now I have like, I don't even know how many pairs of them. So here I took out some of my Webster's Pages little mini alphas and I'm just writing it's freezing because I think one morning it was like minus 20 or something like that. It was, it was really cold so I put it's freezing there and then I decide to put, I think on that one there, I put Polly's name. I just basically just because I wanted to add a little bit more red throughout the layout just to balance it out a little bit. And yeah, so basically I am trying to think of what else was going on this week other than the cold weather and being back. Oh, I didn't, I, we've been um, back to juicing and it's been a lot of fun, a lot of work, but a lot of fun. And I think my last week's spread, I don't, I think I uploaded it, but I'm not positive. I, I lose track of which videos I've uploaded or not, but um, here I'm just adding some of this. Oh, this twine. I love this twine. It's like, it's called linen thread, but it's actually kind of like a burlap twine. I thought it would be perfect for this little layout. But anyways, yeah, trying to stay healthy and trying to do my treadmill and blah, 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 so on and so forth. You know, I do the best I can, but as we all do. Oh, so I had a picture of Polly, and you'll see it here coming up, a 5 by 7 and I edited it in um, PicMonkey and put a little silly birthday hat on her, but just basically just for my, it was just fun. And I wanted to put it in my spread, but um, I wanted to punch holes in it and put it, here it is right here, and put it into my album. So what I did was I wanted to put that 7 on there, and put it into my album. So I wanted to go towards the top of the album and this is just my newest trick. I just go ahead and take a hole punch and punch the holes, line it up with the page protector, punch the holes and try not to get my head in the way of the video, which I think I cut that part out, which is good. And then I just wanted to show you guys afterwards at the end here real quick um, what it looks like in my album. but. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been fun. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. So, uh, talk to you soon. Bye, YouTube.